I hope everyone has their umbrellas out, because today we're talking about monsoons. Welcome back everyone. So this past week, we showed you one epic catch. And just in case you missed it, let's have one more look. Got him. Oh my oh. God. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys see that? <laughs> Did you see his little head sticking up? Oh man, your hand's dirty. <laughs> oh my gosh. Man, that was an epic catch. Probably one in a million. Now I'm sure some of you were slightly concerned that we used water to draw the iguana up out of the burrow. However, rest easy knowing that there are millions upon millions of these burrows throughout the desert. And every time a monsoon rain comes down, these burrows flood out. Monsoons are massive rainstorms generated from the extreme desert heat that literally pour down thousands of gallons of water with every single storm. They flood roadways, they sculpt the environment, and they are constantly pushing animals up and out of the ground. Actually, one of the best times to go out and look for desert wildlife is in the evening after a monsoon has pushed through, because retreating from a flooded burrow is all a part of a desert creature's daily routine. So hopefully this eases any concerns you had about the iguana or the burrow. In the end, they were absolutely fine. Now before I go, I just wanted to take a moment to announce the winner of our last SOG Knives and Tools giveaway. Congratulations to Hayden Mason. You're the big winner, buddy, and your prizes are gonna be sent out soon. Thank you to everyone who wrote in. We had over a thousand entries on the SOG blog, which is a new record. How cool is that? Now for those of you that didn't win this time around, don't worry, there's gonna be plenty more giveaways in the future. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild, we'll see you next week. If you missed the epic catch, go back and watch my encounter with the desert iguana. And don't forget, subscribe to join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.